Hello everyone, Oodles here, and in this video I'm going to show you my latest big Lego creation, the Swiss Chalet. The idea to build this came to me when I visited Switzerland last year. After the trip I started to draft a design and gathered pieces for this mock, and then I started building in late last year and finished this year. So stay tuned for an in-depth review of my creation. Alright, first we're going to take a look at the first floor, which is a Coop Pronto convenience store. I chose to put this convenience store here because when I traveled to Switzerland last year, eating out is very expensive and grabbing a bite from a Coop store for lunch saved us a bunch of money. So here's my little tribute. For the back and side walls, I used a bunch of 1x2 white bricks mainly, mixed in with some plates, some 1x1 plates and some ma white masonry bricks to give it that slightly worn down look. The idea was inspired by some of the Lego mock designers who do castle builds, but I didn't make it extremely rugged since it's not meant to be a medieval era facade. I have a back door over here and some vegetation on the side here. I gave this front area here a very stone-like look and just standard snot technique with tiles. I threw a bunch of light bluish gray round tiles, semi round tiles to give it that irregular cobblestone look. And a sidewalk that is similar to what I have in the rest of the Wasabi district buildings that I did. The logo here is made using custom water slide decals. I did this with a similar method with what I did with a Dunkin Donuts on my 505 Wasabi Tower. Go inside and looking at the back wall, it's lined with refrigerators with some various drinks inside. And to the wall to the right, there's a counter with a drink machine. There's a freezer with frozen goods. The front of the store has some basket with various fruit and French bread with some six pack bottles of drinks. And in the middle, there are some shelves full of various stuff. Taking a closer look at the shelves, you can see there are some bottles, some donuts, but I'm not exactly sure what these products actually are. But I think it's just a good way to use up different colored one by one pieces I thought I never use. And on the last wall there's a checkout counter. There's one more shelf over here with goods. I chose a black wall for more contrast. And there are more one by one pieces underneath the checkout counter. There's a small storage area over here, but it just leads to the exit. And finally, there are the stairs that will lead to the house part. The next floor contains the house. Before I bring you inside, I want to bring your attention to the front, which has some flower beds in the front facade. I saw that it was common to see these flower beds in real Swiss chalets in Switzerland, so I decided to do the same here. This is the front door to the house. And the majority of the facade is made of tiles attached to snot bricks to give it that cabin in the woods look. Go inside, you will see there's a living room, a kitchen, small dining area, and a computer desk. The kitchen is a fairly standard build. If you saw my video on 505 Wasabi and 1 Azure, you would realize the techniques that I used for the sink, the kitchen counters, and the refrigerators are very similar, so not much new styles here. I did add cooking utensils hanging over this window here and this exhaust fan, which is a fairly new design. There's a small dining slash breakfast room area, which is very basic just for two minifigs. And they can also choose to eat at the kitchen counter sitting at the two blue bar stools. This is the living room area with an L-shaped sofa, small coffee table, and then a fireplace with some cabinet drawers on the sides. There's also a flat screen TV at over the top of the fireplace. And then there's a little computer area. I built a 90 style PC. Uh, you can check it out on my Instagram. And decided to put this in the house, so here it is. And then lastly you have the stairs which will lead to the third floor. 
Now we take a look at the third floor of the build, which contains the bedroom and the bathroom. And just so you notice, we still have the flower beds like in the second floor, only this time it's two smaller flower beds. The facade is also similar to the second floor, which is just a bunch of brown tiles attached to snot bricks. We do have smaller windows on the side though. Then inside the bedroom, it's right as standard. There's the fireplace still here, similar to the ones in the living room with two cabinets on either side. You have this bed with this massive headboard, attached reading lights and attached nightstands. I did a short tutorial of this on Instagram. I'll put the link down below, so check it out. And then on the far side, there's a cabinet with some books. Here in the bathroom, I went for a checkered floor to bring some contrast, and I think it worked really well. On this wall, you'll see there's a, another cabinet here. Some painting framed uh, sink. And then there's a small toilet and a bathtub with a shower. As far as these two, I also did a tutorial on this on Instagram, so I'll also put the link down below. And in this space, it's just a walk-in closet space, so there's not much going on over here. The last module is the rooftop. The angle of the roof is just held by hinges. Most of the shingles are just black cheese slopes with some rounds thrown in. I have a total of 12 solar panels using 1x2 clear blue tiles. And this chimney is its own mini module. And the last minor detail is the Swiss flag right in front. I noticed that the Swiss really love to display their flags in their chalets, so I created one for this building. Alright, and I think it's time to put it together. And just a side note, you can also build this as a two-story building. It just won't have a bedroom or bathroom and you'll have a stairs that will lead to nowhere. But I think it still looks decent. Here are the reddish brown pieces that I broke. If you guys aren't aware, the reddish brown pieces are notoriously brittle. So I broke a few of them during this build. So pay your respects. And finally, here's a comparison of my Swiss Chalet build with the Cafe Corner Modular from LEGO. My build is slightly bigger, but it pretty much matches with the LEGO Modular scale-wise. Alright, that concludes the overview. Let me know what your thoughts are about my build in the comments below. Also, let me know if I should enter this in LEGO Ideas. Again, thanks for watching my video. See ya.